Hello everyone. I'm going to discuss how to perform incremental sonar analysis with Jenkins pipeline. So what is incremental sonar analysis? The context we are talking about here is when a software engineer commits a source code change to the Git repository through Jenkins pipeline and if the Jenkins pipeline has sonar scanner configured then sonar scanner by default performs a scanning of the whole repository code that is time consuming task what we want here is that sonar scanner should perform a scanning only on new or modified source code files associated with that particular commit. This is called incremental sonar analysis. Currently, sonar scanner does not support incremental sonar analysis. However, there is a feature for incremental sonar analysis available only for C family of languages. Therefore, we need to devise a customized solution to perform incremental sonar analysis. When we are trying to find such a customized solution, we may end up on these web links where uh, we use the terminology new code analysis and these web links are of official documentation of sonar cube so this terminology can be confusing that's why we need to realize the difference between sonar scanner analysis and sonar cube quality gate analysis Sonar scanner analysis is the one that is performed on the source code and whatever the analysis result is then transmitted to the sonar cube server where sonar cube performs another quality gate analysis on the analysis results that it has received from sonar scanner. The significance of incremental sonar analysis can be realized from these uh, questions posted on the question answer portal of sonar cube where the questions actually ask about the incremental analysis feature there is another similar question therefore sonar cube is in the uh, process to implement this uh, incremental sonar analysis feature for java and java script uh, languages which is obvious from the G jira story on their jira board the drawback of incremental sonar analysis is obvious it comes at the cost of analysis accuracy because incremental analysis only perform analysis on the new or modified files and this, there's a possibility that the modified files may have impacted another file which is unmodified so that unmodified file may have a newly introduced vulnerability because of the impact from the modified files however that unmodified file will not be included in the incremental scan let's just straight dive into a demonstration and see how it works so here I have my git repository where I have a Java application, simple Java application with three Java files and, the git, and this git repository is linked with my Jenkins pipeline and the Jenkins pipeline has few stages. One of them is checkout stage, sonar scanner stage, quality gate stage and build stage my sonar scanner stage is configured to perform incremental sonar analysis and this configuration is implemented with declarative pipeline script that i'm going to share with you and i'm i will also include that uh, script text form in the comments below this jenkins pipeline once it performs the incremental analysis then the analysis results is reported to my sonar cube server project and we can see from my last commit the vulnerabilities are reported here and because my in my last commit the 
only modified file was linked lives.java that's why only vulnerabilities from this files were scanned and reported here although i had some vulnerability in other other files but they were not even scanned because the pipeline is configured to pick up and scan only those files which were modified so let's see how my pipeline is configured my pipeline has a declarative script that as I mentioned has few stages one of them is checkout stage which just check out the uh, repository that I was just mentioning this one the next stage is the actual scanning stage here is the command that invokes the sonar scanner and uh, before uh, performing the scanning uh, my this state picks up the uh, files that are just modified in the latest commit uh, creates a list of those files and assign that, that list of files to this parameter sonar.inclusion and this parameter forces sonar scanner to perform the scanning only on these files the next stage is quality gate and the last stage is build stage so let's see this in action. I have here app.java file locally. If I implement a change in this file, let's suppose there's a variable, I just delete it. I still have some vulnerabilities here in app.java. I save this file and after saving this file, I need to commit and push this change to my repository so I made a change in the file app.java and now I push this change to my repository and let's see if my change has been reflected here I deleted a variable integer third I deleted the change is reflected here and then now, now let's just build my pipeline and see how my vulnerabilities are reported it's gonna run now it's gonna run all these uh, stages currently it's running the sonar scanner stage after that quality gate stage and then the build stage and when, once all these stages are done then my, it means my uh, vulnerabilities and analysis has been reported to my sonar cube server project and here I can see these are the vulnerabilities reported seven and if I see these are the vulnerabilities from my last modified file in my last commit so this is how we can achieve incremental sonar analysis so how I would conclude this discussion is we can achieve the sonar scanner incremental uh, feature by our customized solution that helps us to save a lot of time as in in each commit however we can still overcome the drawback of incremental sonar analysis we can devise a strategy of our pipeline to perform the whole repository repository scanning periodically thanks